In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import SVG files from Dreaming Tree into Sure Cuts A Lot 4. Now, this process also applies to eCal, which is a special software, a special version of Sure Cuts A Lot for the Eclipse machine. Now, this process also applies to files from SVG Cuts. So, let's go ahead and open Sure Cuts A Lot 4. So there's a few ways to import SVG files from Dreaming Tree into Surecuts a lot and eCal2. The quickest way to import the entire kit or project that you purchased from the website is to take it and drag it and drop it onto the mat. Okay, so I'm just literally taking and dragging it onto the mat. And if you give it a second here, I noticed, I don't know if you did, that this little bar shrunk a little bit indicating that something new was added. And all I did was literally drag and drop it onto the mat. And now, as you can see here, by doing that, it created a new folder called 3dsvg.com. And it automatically extracted and added everything for you nicely in here. And you can see all three of the lanterns. If we click on this to bring this down, you can see all the files here. You can actually zoom and make the icons a little bit bigger. And one click, and it's on your mat, and it's ready to cut. Now, for some reason, you're not seeing the My Library window. You can actually locate that under Window and Library. Now, I just clicked on it and it hid the library, but if you click on it again, it will show up. Now, as you can see, anything that you drag and drop from Dreaming Tree or 3dsvg.com will be put into the 3dsvg subfolder. Okay, so this is one of the products here. If you were to drag and drop another one, it would show up underneath. The more content that you drag and drop, the more that you'll find under the 3dsvg.com folder. And it will um, come in in alphabetical order. And to look at the contents of each of these folders, you simply click this little uh, triangle to the left of the folder to expand that folder. So you're basically going one layer in or one folder in. Now we're going to go a little bit further. And now we have all three lanterns here. So we want to click on that. And then we can click the SVG files folder to display the icons or the actual SVG files. And then you click to place them and they are literally ready to go. You don't really need to do much else. Okay. Now you can see that they are ready to go. We hit preview and all the cut lines are ready to go. So that that's also the way to do it. If you plan on using and letting sure cuts a lot or eCal take care of the file organization for your files. Now, because we also include non-SVG printable elements, such as PDF files, you will need to actually unzip the file as well. And you can pull those elements out and organize them however you'd like. I have separate tutorials to show you how to unzip these files, but on a Mac, it's really easy. We're just going to double click to unzip it. And we'll take a look at the file structure inside that folder. And as you can see here, We've got a menu, but we also have, in one of the lanterns, we have some printable elements. And let's take a look. Here's the printable element. So this will not transfer over into uh, the Surecuts A Lot software. So it is something that you will need to just kind of keep handy if you want to recreate the project the same way we have it on the website. So that's one way of so that's one way of using our files with Shortcuts Lot 4 or eCal2. And another way is simply by extracting the file. And I've got a separate video to show you how to do that. Okay, now on a Mac, it's really simple. We're just going to double click on the zip file. We've got the extracted folder here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into Shortcuts a lot. And I'm going to show you a more manual method of doing this. And you can achieve that by clicking the Import SVG button, which is right here. You can also access that same function under File, Import. We're going to go to the desktop, which is where the product is. We're going to open up the folder. We're going to go into SVG files. We're going to select the kit that we're interested in and locate the SVG files for that. And then you're going to select one of the files. Okay, so for example, I'm going to go ahead and open this one. So we've located the file, we have it highlighted. You can either double click or you can highlight it and hit open. And it will go ahead and place the file on your mat. And again, it is ready to cut. 
And as you can see, we can preview it and everything's nice and ready to cut. So once you have this piece cut, you can delete it. And all I did was just hit delete on my keyboard and repeat the process. You can click import and the Mac remembers the last folder you were in. So you don't have to go back to the desktop, into the folder, into the SVG files and so on and so forth. It remembered that we were already in this folder working on this project. So we can go ahead and just select the next one. Okay, so that one's gonna come in for us and then that one's ready to cut. So that's really all it takes when it comes to importing SVG files in Shortcuts A Lot 4 and in eCal.